guys! Welcome to my channel, Tokyo Foodie Sarah. You guys know I like sushi a lot, and when it comes to convey about sushi, it gets me super excited. However, there's recently been quite a few incidents in different convey about sushi chains which are affecting the whole industry. In this video today, I'm gonna be talking about the scandals that are happening in large Japanese convey about sushi chains, Sushiro, Hamazushi, and Kurazushi. Before actually getting into the video, I'm gonna list up the scandals that are happening, okay? The first one is licking scandal at Sushiro. Second one is wasabi shooting at Hamazushi. And the third one is back to the lane at Kurazushi. Right, let's get into it. First, let's get into Sushiro's licking scandal. So um, this is a 48 second video that got posted on TikTok. And the video was taken at Sushiro's store in Gifu Prefecture. And the guy in the video is a high school student. <laughs> これ <laughs> After Sushiro found out about this video, they washed all cups and replaced all soy sauce bottles on 30th of January. On 31st of January, Sushiro's stock price went down by 145 yen and the market cap has gone down by 16.8 billion yen. That's right, 16.8 billion. On 1st of February, the guy in the video and his parents, um, they apologized to Sushiro, but Sushiro decided to file a damage report to the police. The incident not only affected Sushiro's reputation, but also affected the whole conveyor belt sushi industry. Let's take a look at some of the popular comments on Yahoo News. These are mainly automated translations with some of my corrections, so some parts may not sound very natural, but I hope you get the idea. In the US, this is not likely to happen because they would be charged a large amount of compensation. Japan should also have some sort of penalty such as deducting a certain amount of money off your wage, being ineligible for welfare benefits, and so on. Maybe schools should use the moral education classes to educate students about this. If all it takes is crying an apology, I don't think we need the police, do we? In this case, I think it is necessary to take responsibility because this is a case of reputational damage and a big economic loss. I don't think we can tolerate it just because they are high school students, if they did it intentionally. I hope that they will work hard and pay the social costs for the painful lessons they have learned. It is no surprise for the child to feel sorry, but the parents who raised such a child should also be extremely sorry. If the child is still unable to properly judge from right or wrong at this age, there must have been problems at home. A lot of damage has been done, and I think they should learn the hard way that there are things that can be solved with apologies and things that can't. I have no sympathy for them. Alright, let's move on to the second scandal at Hamazushi. Hamazushi is a large conveyor belt sushi chain along with Sushiro. There are two videos at Hamazushi. Let's go for the first one. The first video is where this guy takes someone else's sushi off the conveyor belt. This video was posted on TikTok on 7th of January. At these conveyor belt sushi places, you can make your order on these like tablet menu and when the sushi comes on the conveyor belt, there's a sign saying this sushi has been ordered by somebody. So you shouldn't take these sushi unless you ordered them. Obviously, it's someone else's. All right, let's get on to the second video. This guy shoots a mountain of wasabi onto a plate of sushi that someone else ordered. I don't like wasabi, so if the sushi I ordered gets loaded with wasabi, I am gonna get outrageous. Anyway, this video was posted on the guy's Instagram story around 9th of January. On 25th of January, Hamazushi filed a damage report to the police. Here are some of the public comments. Simply, the news makes other people know that the sushi at Hamazushi may have been touched by someone else. This act may reduce the number of customers, but it will not increase them. It is a complete obstruction of business. It is not something that can be solved with a phone call and an apology, and the person must be shaking right now after such a big incident. There are so many people who act on the spur of the moment, unable to think of the consequences. It's not hard to guess that this was going to happen. I hope they receive the sanction they deserve. And here's another comment. It is not a matter of making a phone call, apologizing, and the company saying, I understand. 
Even though this has become a large problem, some people may still imitate this kind of thing. If the number of customers continues to drop, the company will have to improve its facilities. I know this was done without taking it seriously, but if you think about it for a moment, you can imagine what will happen. I hope the company will take a firm stand on this issue in light of the future. Alright, now let's move on to Kurazushi. This video blew up on Twitter on 24th of January after the Sushiro's licking scandal. <laughs> 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 this video was actually posted four years ago, but because of Sushiro's scandal, uh, this old video also got viral, and that's only when Kurazushi found out about this. The truth is not published yet, but it is said that these are middle school students in a store in Chiba Prefecture. Unlike Sushiro or Hamazushi, Kurazushi hasn't filed a damage report to the police yet, but they are considering what to do. I found some of the professional's comments, so I'm gonna read this out. So here's a comment made by an anti-crime advisor and analyst. The recent video at Hamazushi shows someone eating sushi ordered by another person without permission, which may be considered theft. Putting wasabi on top of sushi without permission may be a matter of life or death if someone is allergic to wasabi. If the Kurazushi video of the person putting the plate back on the lane goes viral, Kurazushi will lose credibility and this would interfere with their business. I am sure that the person was just trying to make the video blow up to get more views, or he may have not taken it seriously because he was showing it amongst his friends on social media, but this could be a crime. If you feel responsible for your past actions, it is better that you immediately contact the company and the police, apologize and take actions with sincerity rather than getting arrested and panic. If you are not forgiven for your actions and a damage report is filed against you, you may have no choice but to file a claim for damages in a civil lawsuit. I think that there are too many young people these days who do not have the imagination to think about the consequences of their own actions. And here's a comment by a distribution journalist and marketing planner. In these restaurants, sushi is served with conveyor belt sushi style which is self-serve, rather than served by person. Supermarkets are similar in this way and are prone to damages such as needles being inserted into products. Recently, shoplifting at self-checkout cashiers has also been a serious problem. Although measures such as the installation of surveillance cameras and sales floor patrols have been implemented, it is impossible to completely eliminate the problem. However, self-service is based on the principle of goodwill and there is basically nothing that can be done to deal with the customers who have bad intentions or poor morales. Companies need to continue to work on how to reduce risks, but with an increase in the number of fun-loving criminals seeking to get attention on social media, society as a whole must develop a campaign to improve morale. Now let's take a look at some of the public comments. In any industry, there are more than a few customers or monsters whose morales have completely collapsed. It is too late for the company if damage has already occurred and companies usually do not get compensated. Of course, there's a way to sue the other party in civil court, but in most cases, considering the effort and trouble involved, the only realistic option is to cry oneself to sleep. In any case, I think that industries where companies cannot choose customers need to take more than adequate precautionary measures. In fact, Kurazushi's response is quite appropriate because it serves as a deterrent to bad customers. However, it is a really tough one because if it comes to a topic of conversation like this, there will be new fun-loving criminals. Since this video is four years old, the statute of limitations may be told if the crime of obstruction of business in a criminal case applies. However, if the images can still be verified today and the company's credibility has been damaged, it is possible to file a civil claim for damages. If it is possible to identify the criminals, we would like to see them dealt strictly. So that was a bit of what's been happening to the conveyor belt sushi chains in Japan right now. I thought it's worth making a video on this because it is one of the top news in Japan. And I know that a lot of my viewers, when they come to Japan, they would like to experience conveyor belt sushi restaurants. There have been efforts done by these companies, such as Sushiro not having the sushi on the conveyor belt anymore. And also Kurazushi is setting up these acrylic panels um, between the seats and the conveyor belt. And also they are giving out um, soy sauce bottles at the entrance um, if customers request it. Personally, I wouldn't stop going to conveyor belt sushi restaurants because I know that it's literally only a few of the customers who are doing ridiculous things like this. Also, I would love to support the sushi companies that are being affected by these scandals. What do you think? Do these scandals put you off from going to conveyor belt sushi restaurants in Japan? 
I'd love to hear your opinion, so do make sure to comment down below your thoughts. Alright, that's it for the video today. Thank you very much for watching until the very end. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more future videos about Japanese foods and culture. Sometimes sushi, not always sushi, mostly food, sometimes traveling, mostly food, mostly food, mostly food. Anyway, bye!